Hello and welcome to another product video breakdown from Nikkor Store. Today we will be taking a look into the frozen waste, like the frigid heart of a scorned woman. We embark upon a grand exploration of the coldest regions, like Dante's ninth circle of hell, the Summit 10,000. Are you new to this channel? Consider subscribing and liking our videos for more Nikkor content. Nikkor's low temperature capable 10,000 milliamp power bank. Now unfortunately, because I do not live in a frigid environment, I had to make do and freeze one of these summits in a cup. Unfortunately, the summit does not come with the Texas flag mug. It instead comes like this, a seamless 10,000 milliamp all carbon fiber power bank. The Nikkor Summit, unlike traditional power banks, is capable of operating in up to negative 40 degrees centigrade or Fahrenheit, which happens to be the intersect point of centigrade and Fahrenheit, up to 70% capacity, unlike normal power banks which tend to have far, far, far reduced capacity at much lower temperatures. This is just due to the inherent nature of how lithium batteries are constructed. As the temperature decreases, the lithium ions tend to not integrate fully into the graphite or carbon-based anode. It instead sort of plates the surface, basically at lower temperatures, just like how we prefer to sit inside, snuggle up with a mug of hot chocolate, and just be lazy, ions tend to operate similarly. They don't like to be as active when temperatures drop. And thus, the Summit 10,000 is born, capable of operating at negative 40 degrees centigrade or Fahrenheit, and provide up to 70% max capacity, thanks to many of the features of the Nikkor Summit 10,000. Essentially, when the Summit is activated, when it senses that it is below freezing temperatures, it will activate its ultra-low power consumption, low temperature heating mode. Basically, it supplies itself with its own hand warmer, keeping its body nice and warm so that the ions inside can move more freely and thus provide a higher capacity. To activate the summit, simply double tap the power button. And you will see the four blue LEDs activate, indicating the current battery status, as well as the small orange LED. When the orange LED is on, it means that the low temperature heating pad is activated and thus warming up the body of the summit. Now, while we wait for the Nikkor summit to heat up and thaw itself, included with the Nikkor summit is this insulated carry bag. It is very thick, durable, and on the inside, you can see that it is lined with that insulation material you see in freezer bags. The Nikkor Summit fits right inside, slides in, and it can be cinched so that the power bank can be carried around safely in cold environments so that you know that it's ready to go when you need it most. Additionally, the Summit 10,000 comes with Nikkor's USB-C to C braided, incredibly durable three foot charging cable, the essential tool to have to both charge the Summit as well as discharge from its USB-C port. And thus the Nikkor Summit is the must have power bank for anyone who wants to have access and use of their electronic devices in addition to having a reliable power bank for those who enjoy mountain mountaineering, polar exploration, skiing, and other winter sports, as well as those that live north of certain latitudes. I don't really know. I've lived in Texas all my life, but I know it gets very cold up in places like Minnesota and Canada, I suppose, are neighbors to the north. So yes, the Nikkor Summit is the power bank to have for those that live in cold environments and always seem to have batteries that run out of juice just a little too quickly. The Nikkor Summit, much like the recently released Nikkor Carbo 20,000, is made of a unibody construction. That means it is completely seamless on five sides, as well as the bottom. And the only seam being this top port on the cover, a complete shell. This incredible unibody carbon fiber construction not only makes it lightweight, but naturally corrosion and abrasion resistant, as well as give it a 1.5 meter impact resistance, and the Nikkor Summit 10,000 is IPX5 rated water resistant. Here are the dimensions of the Nikkor Summit 10,000. It is 4.94 inches in length, it is 2.5 inches in width, and it is 0.57 inches in depth. Incredibly slim, and the smooth, seamless design makes it very pocket-friendly without any snags or sharp corners that could cause any tears or rips. In total, it weighs 6.07 ounces, or 172 grams. The Nikkor Summit 10,000 is equipped with a USB-A discharge port, as well as a USB-C discharge and input port. The USB-A port is capable of a QC 18-watt output, whereas the USB-C port is capable of a QC PD 
20 watt output or 18 watt input, which means that it is capable of fast charging off of either ports, however not both at the same time. And of course, like many of Nikkor's carbon fiber power bank family, holding the power button will activate the battery level indicators as well as this fifth auxiliary LED which will glow white, indicating it is in low power mode on the USB-A port, which is perfect for charging delicate electronic devices which require a very low specific current, such as smartwatches or earbuds. Now, during that time, as you can see, around the edges of the summit, in addition to the significant level of condensation around the body, you can see that the, with the orange LED active, the summit is still currently in its active low temperature heating mode to try to thaw itself from this situation where it senses that it's very cold. As well as the ice which is now sort of very glossy, letting you know that it's watery and very starting to melt thanks to the heating pad of the Summit 10K. Probably... Oh! Just pops right out of that slot. But what's the point in showing a low temperature capable power bank if it can't actually work in low temperatures? So we're gonna slide that bad boy back in there. First, we'll use a standard USB-A to C Nikkor charging cable to discharge from the USB-A port and plug it into an electronic device such as my phone. And there you have it. Next, we will use the included USB-C to C charging cable that comes with the Nikkor Summit to plug into its USB-C output port and plug the other end into my phone. Like so. And finally, to demonstrate the Nikkor Summit 10,000 is capable of pass-through charging, I will plug in a USB-C cable, which is plugged into a wall box, into the Nikkor Summit to show it is currently charging, and then plug a USB-A to C cable into its A output port and the other end into my phone. Thus, you can see with the LED blinking up, you know that the summit is being charged by the USB-C cable, as well as my phone indicating it is also being charged from the USB-A port. All the while, it is in this frozen mug solid block of ice. And that concludes the product video breakdown of the Nikkor Summit 10,000, Nikkor's 10,000 milliamp power bank with dual QC capable USB-A and USB-C output ports as well as a PD capable USB-C input port, a 10,000 milliamp lightweight carbon fiber unibody shell power bank for extreme harsh temperatures up to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 40 degrees centigrade, designed for the toughest of mountaineers, hikers, or people who live in cold climates and need that spare power to power their electronic devices. The Nikkor Summit 10,000 is available at nikkorstore.com. If you have enjoyed this video, or think I am a big dumb fart, please leave a comment or suggestion below. To stay up to date on future product releases, sales announcements, and all things flashlight related, please consider subscribing to the Nikkor Store YouTube channel. And thank you.